Hey folks, well in this episode I am going to repurpose parts of my MacBook Pro because I tried uh, selling it on Gumtree and uh, just had, didn't have luck or the right people looking at it so might as well resource things. I am going to resource the internal drive into an external with this enclosure I got from Amazon. The instructions are pretty straightforward. Just open the, this guy, put the drive in, slip it inside, connect it to the SATA bit, close, and all the installation whatnots. Just for organization's sake, when you open uh, one of these guys, it's better to have something like a cloth to keep all your screws in the exact order you open the thing on. Like my battery is stuck, so I'm going to have to find a way to get that one out. Getting this guy out was, wasn't too bad, uh, apart from just getting this bar out, pulling these bits, and it was pretty straightforward. But the DVD drive uh, had a few more things, and you have to really get inside there to get out the screws, and it was more fiddly. As you can see, I use tape to keep the screws together and all the bits and pieces, which... I don't want to put back in. And later I am going to find an enclosure for the DVD drive because MacBook Pros don't want to play DVDs anymore. Oh well. These are the guys outside. That's the DVD drive. That's the drive. So this one will be going in there. Uh, there. So I'll see you after I've set this all up and installed all the software. Hey, 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 folks, I am extra pleased today. The drive is working. It's working on the Mac. It's working on the PC. Uh, I formatted it, it on my other Mac. Um, it was formatted under MS-DOS FAT something. Uh, just something to note is if you don't have this uh, Apple toolkit, it's going to be hard for you to get all get out these screws which didn't fit in there because the drive drive had it on all four sides so I had to get that out with that allen key and uh, yes only other issue was that I tried the drive on the TV and it says it was giving me some issue with the USB but I'm not fast because the main thing I wanted it to do was copy from Mac to PC and PC to Mac so it's doing what I want it to do. I'm just going to look for an enclosure for that DVD drive and uh, hopefully I get to make a video on that soon.